Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer and today we're going to be making a bunk room. I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, when I built it, just like the last few videos about six months ago, um, I had this great idea in my head, which you can see me trying to figure out here. Um, one of the things that I learned watching some of uh, the Sim Supplies videos was that you don't have to have the bed completely outside of the walls in order for the bunk beds to work. So because we don't have any bunk beds yet in The Sims, which is a big pain in the butt, I think. Um, but you see here my thought process I'm kind of changing from, well, the one bunk's not going to work, but why don't we do like a ski chalet or like a hunting lodge where they have a couple of different bunks in there for multiple people. And from there, it kind of just went on into what I'm really proud of. It's um, definitely more of a like masculine, woodsy cottage, maybe a cabin feel, which I really enjoy. Um, you don't have to be a boy to like that sort of stuff. But I'm just trying here to figure out where I want some alcoves, where I want the bunks to go. It took me a little bit of time, but I think in the end, um, the finished project looks pretty cool. Now, that right there is a piece of CC that is just a flat bed. Um, doesn't come with any sort of... Um, mattress with it. So you do have to download both the mattress and the bed. Um, this right here kind of cracks me up. I made this room a lot smaller than I typically make things. Um, I noticed watching a few of the other Sims YouTube videos or other Simmers on YouTube that they tend to make things um, very close together and then they add a lot of clutter to them. Whereas my builds tend to be um, pretty spread apart, large rooms with very little going on in them, very minimalistic. Um, I don't know, other than the fact that I'm super OCD, like this is killing me right here. This little moment of hell with this bed that's, they're just going to be outside of the walls. There's nothing I can do about it. But the beds do function because we don't have, um, where I, we can use the median line on the squares. If they allowed us to do that, I think the beds would fit a lot better. Um, they look pretty cool, but it's, you know, it's one of those things when you're using CC, stuff just doesn't work out for you. Um, but eventually I do clean it up, make it look a lot better. So if you are interested in downloading this after the video is over, please head on over to the gallery and look for New Therm 1 or 01. I do believe that's my name on there. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. I didn't think it was a big deal to switch over my uh, EA account to the Angry Simmer just because I don't know how. So if anybody knows how to do that, that would be super helpful. Just leave a comment for me. Um, and if you have any other builds that you'd like to see me do, leave a comment with that. Hit the like button if you're enjoying what you're watching and want to see more of that. If you want to see more, hit subscribe for me, please, guys. Now with this shameless self-promotion over, um, I think we're going to get going into... No, I think we still got a little bit more time of structural work. Um, with this one, I added a walkway into it. So you have to download a couple of different rooms because I use archways. The archways that I'm going to end up using are by Peacemaker. Um, he's a fantastic CC creator and he's actually done with the contract for his regular job. Um, so I'm hoping to see some more CC from him soon. He just does the most amazing stuff. I don't think it's Max's match. But everybody else tends to say that he's a Maxis Match creator, and he does as well. I think his men's clothing that he makes is Maxis Match, but his building seems to be that beautiful, sweet spot between Maxis Match and Alpha, which I tend to prefer Alpha. I do blend a couple of different, um, I think, I don't think they're base game, but, you know, they are non-CC windows in here and there, um... And I, I just, I love the way it turns out. I think it's really cool. I think you can incorporate it into a mountain chalet um, build somewhere pretty easily. And for once, you know, you'll, you'll notice as we keep going with this little journey, how many different, um, how do I say this? Overly ridiculously large builds that I make. Because that, that's what I do, honestly. <laughs> I don't know why they're so large. I don't know why... I end up building on the largest slots possible. 
And even when I use the smaller lots, for some reason, the homes just turn out so big for some reason. And I just, I don't know. I think it comes from Sims 3, where I had a lot of tracking issues with my Sims, where um, they just didn't have enough room to get around things. So I wanted to make my life a lot easier whenever I started playing The Sims 4 and just not deal anymore with that sort of trouble that you get into with The Sims getting stuck. And I lied to you guys. These are not base game windows. These are CC. Um, and I probably could have just used, oh no, no, here we go. Sorry about that. Like I said, a lot of these first few videos that we're going to be going through together are, well, <laughs> they're really old. And um, actually, as I've been looking through some of them, I've decided that they're, I don't remember enough about them to really give you guys the best possible video. So, um, I'll be working on some new stuff for you guys very soon that goes a little bit more smoothly. Um, it doesn't look like I ended up using those game or those non CC windows like I thought I did. Sorry about that. Um, but those are pretty easy to find. All the CC that I use is from Lana Sims or the Sims resource. Um, if you're looking for windows and doors on the Sims resource, there is not a long list to go through. So, um, that is a peacemaker door and archway and then the two beds. You know what? I don't know where the bunk beds came from. I will take a look. Um, if you can hear any noise right now, that's my cat playing underneath my desk with my cords. Um, pray for me, guys, that she doesn't rip anything out underneath there because she's kind of evil and will tend to do things like that to me. And I can't get to her because she's so tiny and can get behind all of the towers and the cords and behind the desk into tiny little areas that mama just can't get to. Oh, so this right here, this wallpaper back on track with this video is actually um, a Sims 3 to Sims 4 transfer or redo. So, and I was really happy about it. I really loved using these wallpapers in the Sims 3 and I completely forgot about them since I've been playing the Sims, uh, Sims 4 for the past year, year and a half until I, I went back and watched some of da James Turner, uh, the Sims Supplies videos, where he was playing The Sims 3 again. And I think everybody should do that little experiment. Go back and see what it is uh, that you loved about The Sims 3, 2, 1, all those fun things. And, um, you know, just kind of experiment and that'll help us figure out things to tell the game creators and have them make a better game for us when we actually remember why we love things about The Sims 3 or what we hated. Um, I don't, I don't remember switching to this paint color, honestly. Um, I think I should have stuck with the other ones because they were just more, I don't know, more woodsy. Um, I do game play this, or game test those beds. I promise you they do work. Um, but I do spend quite some time readjusting there, so I apologize for the boring video on this part. But it is very important to get them together with the bed. And let's see here. But yeah, I I don't remember switching to that paint. And I this paint, I actually spent a lot of time trying to track down. Um, I did a CC dump where I got rid of probably eight to 10,000 files of CC on my laptop and accidentally deleted this paint and I really like it because it's got a little bit more detail on um they've got it's got floor and ceiling crown molding and base molding then they've got one that's just the crown molding one that's just the base molding then it's got a chair rail one and that ha goes through the different variations of with and without the base and uh crown molding and I just think it's the option that I was really looking for I wish they had more colors um to it and maybe I'll figure out how to do <laughs> some of my own um, edits to stuff like that and I can stop complaining about only getting so many colors. But right now, um, we're basically at the finished product. I'm adding a few more details at this point. Um, geez, yeah, this is, I'm really, I'm a really big fan of what's going on here in this build. I think it's super cool. Uh, I think I would love to have this room on my house. I don't have any need for, you know, a set of two bunk beds in any room in my house, but it kind of reminds me of like going to the mountains for a ski vacation and like the room that your parents would put you in when you were a kid. I never did anything like that, but I've read a lot of novels where people do that. 
Um, but yeah, you know, it just has that feel where it's really rusticy. It feels like you're going to a cabin or like in one of those uh, HGTV dream homes. Now, here's me figuring out how to put a dresser into a room that I put a window at the end of. Brilliant stuff here. Let me tell you, some days I see myself building and I see how long it takes me to place something that should have been pretty obvious and I just feel real stupid. And and that stinks because I, yeah, I'm a college graduate. I'm a grown up. <laughs> I should know these things. I've been playing Sims since I was a very young child. And yet I still have trouble with these things. Um, in the comments below, why don't you let me know some of the fail moments that you had? Because I promise you, you're going to witness a lot of them with me. And I apologize in advance because they're going to be pretty cringy. Um this couch and those dressers feel like a game, like a life-changing, game-changing thing for me that I wish the couch came in like white and cream and like different browns too, but it's just the style of it was something that I've always been looking for. And then that dresser that I placed a minute ago, those two feel like something really real to me. And like I said, I think I said, I love alpha CC. I love stuff that makes it pretty realistic. Um, not so much into like the, there's a skin that is basically Rihanna's face <laughs> and it throws me off just a little bit because it just doesn't fit on any other sim. Like you can't use that other than for a Rihanna sim, but stuff like these drawers that hopefully I'll be showing you here in a minute, you can kind of see them in the corner there. They just feel just like some that I've seen in a few places that we've gone on vacation. It kind of makes me want to purchase them for myself, but I just have no need for a tall dresser like that. But this just kind of goes more to that, like we're on a vacation in the woods or in the mountains thing, because you don't fold your clothes up. My husband's the only person I know that actually goes in and takes all of his stuff out of suitcase and then folds it in the drawers at hotels. I don't have time for that. I'm on vacation, honey. Let's go. Just leave it in the suitcase. We can iron it if it needs ironing because that's what the little iron's for in hotels. But yeah, I <laughs> maybe that's why he always looks better than me on vacation. I usually look like a hobo walking around like we can be in a really nice place that we pay decent money to be at and... I'm going to look like the crazy person that somebody's being nice and feeding most of the time. I look, I look pretty homeless. Ooh, these pictures right here. It took me a minute to find them, but I'm pretty, pretty excited about them. I think they add a little bit to that hotel feel, but this placement was, let me tell you guys, I struggle sometimes with placement. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> just, you know, when you're using the nine key, when you're shifting stuff like that with pictures and objects, it can get a little messy. It can get a little crazy from time to time. Um, but look here, I do believe you're going to get to see the sim that I created for this. And I think it's like how I hope I age because I don't actually have a recording of when I made her. But honestly, I remember watching this little bit of the video too, and she is not dressed like an elder. I don't know what I was doing there, but she got up there. She's good. Um, and looks like we're coming to the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. You can see that the whole thing works for you. So please go and download it too. Cause I think this would be great. And I'd love to see how you guys used it as well. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye guys.